Young and the Restless spoilers reveal that Sharon Newman has always been a complex character. She has experienced countless tragedies, from the death of her daughter Cassie to complicated relationships in her personal life. However, this time, Sharon seems to be facing an even more terrible tragedy, Heather's death, an event that is unclear whether it was accidental or intentional, but it puts Sharon in a situation from which she cannot easily escape. After waking up and realizing that she is standing in front of Heather's dead body, Sharon panics. The vague memories of dumping the body off the bridge still haunt her mind. She doesn't fully remember what happened, but one undeniable fact is that Heather is dead and Sharon is involved in it. This is the beginning of a chain of events that Sharon cannot control, and Heather's death becomes a huge burden on her shoulders. Sharon's Mental State Cameron Kirsten, a character full of intrigue and sinister, quickly realized Sharon's weakness. He not only wanted Sharon to keep Heather's death a secret, but also forced her to pretend that everything was fine. Cameron believed that if Sharon could do this, everything would return to normal. But Sharon was not an emotionless monster, she could not hide the fear and guilt deep inside her. Witnessing Heather's death and directly participating in dumping the body made her unable to be normal again. Sharon was haunted by images of Heather lying motionless, and she constantly recalled the terrifying moment when she realized her colleague had died. Every night when she closed her eyes, that image replayed in her mind, dragging Sharon into a never-ending nightmare. She wondered, why did things happen like this? What did I do wrong to lead to this outcome? Remorse began to eat away at Sharon from the inside. While Cameron may appear cold and calculating, Sharon is still human. She feels that she cannot hide the truth forever. Every moment that passes, she wonders if she has made a mistake, if this concealment will make things worse. Sharon faces pressure not only from Cameron but also from herself. She realizes that she needs mental health help, but the fear that it is too late to save Heather only makes her sink deeper into a spiral of guilt. Sharon feels she is losing control, not only of the situation but also of her own emotions. In a moment of anguish, Sharon decides to visit the grave of her daughter, Cassie Newman, whom she lost in a tragic car accident years ago. The cemetery becomes a place where she can confront her deepest emotions. Sharon sits by Cassie's grave, remembering the pain of her previous loss, and her emotional breakdown becomes even more severe. She wonders if Cassie understands her pain. Sharon can't hold back her tears, and in her moment of weakness, she wishes Cassie could come and comfort her. Will Cassie appear as a figure in Sharon's mind and offer wise advice? Or is it just a figment of Sharon's imagination? a longing for someone to understand and share her pain? Sharon is at a crucial crossroads in her life. What will she do next? Hide everything and try to move on as Cameron suggests, or decide to go public with the truth about Heather's death? If Sharon goes public with the truth, she may face unforeseen consequences, but if she continues to hide, the psychological burden will continue to weigh heavily on her. What's special is that throughout the story, the show has never shown anyone actually seeing Sharon kill Heather. This leaves a gaping hole in the truth and raises the question, was Heather's death a real murder or just a bad accident that Sharon accidentally got herself into? Recently, there has been speculation about a funeral scene in the film being filmed in dark clothing on set. This has led fans to theorize that it could have been Heather's funeral if her body was found after a period of time. The dumping of the body could be covered up for a while, but eventually, the body would be revealed and Sharon would have no way of avoiding the truth. If Heather's death was real and not faked, is there a possibility that someone else could be responsible? Cameron had a significant influence on Sharon's psyche, and it cannot be ruled out that he was the one behind it all, or at least the one who took advantage of Sharon's fragile mental state to push her into her current situation. Cameron has a history of dangerous and obsessive behavior toward Sharon in the past, and this time, he may be manipulating Sharon in ways she doesn't realize. Sharon's story is one of confronting guilt and fear. Subscribe to Yonder for the latest news on our channel.